Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we're here and this is going to be week number 9 of the UBL. This is going to be the final week before any type of playoffs happen and hopefully we make it in. We should be reasonably locked, but obviously winning here would be fantastic for seeding. And I also believe that Kingler may or may not be a lock for the KO leader overall in the league, which would be fun, but ensuring that would also be dope. Other than that, uh, we will be up against Ultra Player. We've played a, a number of times in the past and we've gone back and forth a decent amount but uh yeah this is going to be one where he has a team that i don't match up the best against i don't think but realistically a lot of my matchups haven't been ideal i think this team is really awkwardly built but it's but it's has a lot of fun aspects to it and i'm just kind of gonna try to play off of that i'm gonna try to kind of click buttons as much as possible i think overall my team has the capacity to click buttons if i can maneuver myself well enough and again, it's just going to be a matter of maneuvering myself well enough, right? Okay, it looks like we're here and there's nothing left but to get in a team preview. Uh, he has a lot of different options here, but we will see. The Sun of Scorch, Thwacky, Drift Blim, Clefairy, Kabutops, and Claydol. Okay, so uh, no Thievil. No Thievil is very interesting, which is good because I don't think I spread, I spread crap the Thievil very well. No Token of Maru, no Token of Maru is very interesting. Did not bring the Lil Punny and will officially not have brought it all season long. Um, overall, I think this is best case scenario for me, only because No Token Tomorrow helps me out a decent amount, and No Thieval helps me out a really decent amount, because I really, this team does not have a ton of special defense on it. I do think, yeah, I do think my team is freed up to kind of do everything that it needs to do here. I kind of, I, I kind of want to lead off with the Kling Clang, but I also don't. How do I do this? I could just, this makes as much sense as anything else, right? I think it does. I think it does. You know what? Why not? I say we go for it. I think we have enough pivoting where this will make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, then that's unfortunate. But we are banded. We are banded pincer. If he leads the Claydol, he might want to switch out. He probably goes into the Clefairy. I can knock off the Eviolite, pivot on out into the clang clang and then we can we're on our way yeah that's what i expected um do i ever potentially ko uh knockoff potentially ko's the clay doll interestingly actually sorry uh something in obs confused me uh Okay, no, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, yeah, like I said, I think I think we always click knockoff. I think we expect the Clefairy. And if it does come in, we just... This is this thing. Okay. That's super duper interesting. We knock off a Scarf. Uh, and that looks like... Man, that looks like a dirty, dirty roll for me to be able to... Oh, I don't think I ever make that play, right? I probably just go into the Clang Clang here, right? I think I do. I think I just go into the Clang Clang. But having a but having no scarf on the Kabutops helps me out a ton. It helps me out a ton, ton. But I think this is going to be the best play for me overall. Pulls a double. I'd be curious to see into what maybe. Yeah, he knows that I'm banded. Yeah, because he because he knows that I'm banded, so he made this play. That makes a ton of sense. Uh, I think now I just click toxic question mark. I don't have removal, right? I don't have any removal, right? So I think I have to pull a double myself, and I potentially go into this question mark. I could go back into this, in all honesty. But I think this makes more sense to me. I think this makes more sense to me. Um, if he pulls a if he pulls a double or I don't know, clicks Thunder Wave, then obviously that's really bad for me. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I think he has to make this this play. I think he has to make this play. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, no. I um. I obviously have to be wary of Flame Body. But I also think I just take the damage or I just click Knock Off. Knock Off could be really good here for me here. I think I take the damage. I think I take the damage. Um, worst, well, worst case scenario, he stays in, which is bad for me, right? 
I, I, I don't think there's any Senna Scorch that really takes this, ever. And he has to be wary of just Sheer Force Life Orb, which I'm Scarfed, but he has to be wary of that, right? Um. So let me think this through a little bit. Uh, yeah, Kingler always KOs. Knockoff is a strong play here. He's, he decides to sack this thing off, which is fair. But Kingler's picking up some KOs. Or I should, ideally. This is going to reveal Scarf as well, but also, I mean... Oh well, right? Uh, Driplin is potential here. Hell, Santa Scorch is, is, is a potential Mon here. The Wacky is potential here. Caribou, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's, it's just wacky. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay, so here's the thing, right? In, in my heart of hearts, I really do believe that this thing goes for U-turn right now. Because he cause he knows he knows that I know that... He knows that I know that he knows that I'm scarfed in a, in a knockoff, right? Um, Which puts me in an awkward position. I probably... I want to disallow the... Yeah, I do this every time, I think, right? Because 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 the main concern is just allowing the clay doll to come in and just set up rocks and kind of wreak havoc for free, right? And I think as long as I can maintain pressure on things like the clay doll, I think that puts me in a much better position. Knocks off my um, my choice band, which is not ideal, but overall, not the worst thing in the world. I think I think it's overall kind of fine. Um, I didn't put a rock move on this, which is not ideal now that I'm looking at it. Uh, could go into the Senna Scorch, but I think Knockoff just always makes the most amount of sense, right? I think Knockoff just always makes the most amount of sense. Does withdraw. Uh, this is going to be yeah the Clefairy. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, I have a strong feeling that he that he again just plays off of the plays off the potential Clink Clink coming in again, but. If this thing has rocks and Claydol doesn't, then that's obviously not not great for me, right? I could go straight into this, right? And just getting a really strong hit is is solid overall. No, it might be too early. I think I think I, I think this still has a lot of usefulness for me in the grander scheme of the match, right? This feels like it makes sense. This feels like it makes sense, but uh, I just don't want to put myself in a awkward position for the later game, I suppose. And rocks would obviously put me in a really awkward position for the later game. Goes for a wish here. Goes for a wish here. Uh, I think you would expect... Uh, I really want to click Toxic, because I think... Oh, I think he hard goes into Clay all right? That's my call on it. I, I honestly have no idea, to, in, to be completely honest. I feel like... I don't know. In my, in my heart of hearts, this makes sense to me. But I could be I, I could be way off. Especially now that Clefairy no longer has a... Now that Clefairy no longer has... Oh, that's Lefable. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now I think I click liquidation. Is there any downside? Thwacky. Thwacky's the downside. Um, no, because I played out of it before, right? I clicked knockoff before. So I think this time I go for it. This this time I full send it. Does withdraw again, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll be doing some damage to the wacky. That's a good amount of damage to a Thwacky. Alright, okay, 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 alright. Um, I think the best play available... ...is Garboder. It could U-turn, which is obviously not great. I could also just do this. This this just prevents a lot of things from happening, right? This also just gets Chip off, in case he does click U-turn. But I need my Eevee Light in case he knocks off, right? I, that's that's kind of non-negotiable. Um, 
I could also do this. He'd either knock off or... No, he can't glide. He can't glide. Yeah, so I do this every time, right? Uh, he either U-turns or knocks off. And it's... In, in either way, I'm, I'm going to put myself in an awkward position. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it goes for the U-turn. But at, but again, at the very least, this is preventing the Claydol from coming in. Um, Pinsir has natural defenses. It's going to be okay. Um, and from here, Drift Limb is a possibility. Santa Scorch is a possibility. I could, I could have a rock move, though. So Santa Scorch is kind of awkward for him. Goes back into the Clefable. That's so, the Clefairy. That's totally fair. Uh, do I do anything here? He probably just clicks Wish again, right? He has no reason not to at this point, right? Does this make sense as a play? I don't think it does. It might. Hmm. I'm going to do this. So, end of the day, right? He, he's he's going to want to Wish up the Thwacky, right? So, my play would be to Toxic the Thwacky as it comes in. That's for Moonblast, okay. Um, yeah, so I think this is a, a, a Volt Switch every time. Claydol would be unfortunate, but, you know, what What am I going to do? Is it, is it a Volt Switch every time? I can just click Toxic, yeah. So, my, my, my thought process here is that because this is a little bit of dead weight here, not dead weight, but just like not the mo the not like the strongest in, in, in this matchup, I think I can kind of, I should be able to, assuming that this thing is like super defensive, right? Send a Scorch. I should be able to take a Fire Lash, I assume, and hit the, and, 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 and out damage this thing with Power Gem. Actually, Fire Lash does a whole lot of damage. Fire Lash does a whole lot of, but but the point is that I still out out damage this thing, and and it's and, and that's going to be huge for my, for for a lot of things that I'm trying to do moving forward, and I still think that that, that it's overall kind of worth it. Fire Blast. Okay, I think I take this better. I think yeah, I take this not. I was, I was going to say significantly better, but it's not significantly better. It's just mildly better. Um, I wonder what he expected me to do. Maybe expect me? No, I don't know. That's a, that's an interesting play. Maybe he just expected me to be a defensive garboder, so he... I don't know. I suppose... I really want to click Volt Switch here. I think Volt Switch is a really strong play, but I really can't. I, I'm not in a position to make that play. But I don't want to allow in the Claydol, which is the worst thing. That would be the worst case scenario here. Um, And Gear Grind doesn't quite do it either. I have to click Power Jam. He might just give this up. Like, if he gives this up, that would be, I guess, the least bad option. Well, that's not even the least bad option because it advice in the Clay Doll, which is bad for me. It's just overall bad. <laughs> it's not good. But, what this should mean, right, is that Clay Doll comes in, it takes a turn to set up rocks. Um. I can Toxic it. I can Toxic it. Um, I, I Toxic, he sets up rocks. I then go out into Gabite. Um, I don't know. This thing is probably specially defensive. Yeah, I don't know yet how to manage this. But I think regardless, I, I go into Gabite. And then... Uh, I, I, I probably pull a double back into... There's no way... Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way he clicks Ice Beam here. And that's just going to be a question of whether or not he expects me to, to just, like, double switch forever. 
I mean, if I were him, I'd, I'd, I'd probably just Earth Power twice, especially because of the drop. Yeah, yeah, you know, the drop changes a lot, actually. Um, but I can't play off of that at all. I can't play off of that at all. I think I, I give this up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I give this up and go into, into Kingler every time. So realistically, maybe it wasn't the best play just to give him free damage on to go bite, I guess. But we'll manage. We'll manage. I think we'll manage. That's her rapid spin. Okay. Okay. I th well, that's fair. It's unexpected, but it's fair. And now I can just... Oh, it feels like such a waste. Uh... No, I feel like there's nothing. I mean, I could flinch. I could, I could always flinch, right? Oh, it outspeeds anyway. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so Kingler comes in. Kingler, I think, gets a KO. No, because of Thwacky. I haven't knocked off Thwacky yet, right? So I think. Oh, right, but Thwacky. Thwacky is weakened enough where... Actually, I guess I, I guess we have to see now. Thwacky. If it's a really offensive Thwacky. Against Kingler. We saw that Liquidation did about 40%. Yeah, it's at least max HP. Um... Body Slam has the potential to pick up a KO. But it's not super duper likely. I don't even remember. Did I knock off the Thwacky? I feel like I got the Body Slam anyway, right? Do I? No, no. He, he just gives me this for sure. He just gives me this for sure. Then he goes into Thwacky. Then I go into... I probably just go back into Pinsir. I give it the Pinsir. It allows him Garboder. Garboder clicks Gunk Shot. Oh, that's, clo that's closer to 35%. Yeah, this thing is super defensive. Or or, or just healed itself up. Yeah, yeah, that's probably more likely. Um, uh, I could do this, too. This is also viable. Um, let me just see. Uh, down to those three. Garboder feels like the least... The least, uh, consequential left. Because it feels like Magmar can still... Do big damage to, to the Drift Limb, weaken it for other, for other things. Um, but I, but I fully expect a knockoff right now, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. The bigger takeaway is getting a strong gunk shot off? Question mark. That's gonna invite in the Drift Limb. Drift Limb is gonna either want a Strength Sap or Will O Wisp. I bring in Magmar to absorb it, get a strong Magmar hit, and then we go from there, I think. I don't know, this is so tough. This is such a tough kind of approaching endgame. Sorry, punch the mic. Um, I still think Gabite potentially 1v1's the Drift Blim. It has the capacity to, I suppose. Um, but he has so many options. He, I, I, he's, he's been really creative with, with the way that he runs Drift Limb. Uh, we avoid. Okay. Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Well, it matters because he's because now he's going to want to bring in the Drift Blim. Uh, it's unfortunate. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. But Garboder can just Rock Blast. And I think Rock Blast... 
Rock Blast should always keep me out of range. I don't know. Well, no, it matters less because, because yeah, he, he he always brings this thing in, right? And and I always, I always take this turn to go into Magmar anyway, right? So maybe it doesn't matter as much. I don't quite know yet. I guess I don't quite know yet. But once the Magmar, once the Magmar is in, oh maybe I should have given up the pincer on this turn. Th yeah, that yeah, that might have been a better play. But this put but this applies more pressure, I suppose. This just applies more pressure overall. I, gu I guess that makes sense to me. I guess that makes sense to me. We just have to land a bunch of fire blasts. If if we can if, if we can finesse a toxic onto this drift blim, then we super potentially just win. We super potentially just win. And I don't think he would expect Magmar to have toxic. He knows that I'm boots, right? But would he expect me to be toxic Magmar? I don't think so. He he might get a little brazen. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to attempt to land another one. Honestly, he could just make me run out of moves. He could absolutely just make me run out of moves. He, he goes for Calm Mind again. So he's trying to keep him, keep himself out of range. Magmar's really strong, though. He's still technically in range, right? So... Uh, so yeah, he, he, he might not want to click sub again now. And if I and, and again, if I can finesse this toxic on, he, he might honestly try to heal up with strain sap on this turn. That that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I think I can always finesse this drift blim with 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 um with rest on the thing on on goodbye. Right, I think, right? Um. If I had to guess, this thing hasn't hit me yet, right? It's only shown sub call mind strength sap. Sub call mind strength sap. Shadow Ball. There, there we go. There, there's the full move set. We take it. Um, I'm gonna try to do a super quick calc. I know I'm super low on time. But this thing is a plus two. Does it have offensive investment? It does. It has a very decent amount of offense. I, th I think I missed. That's okay. That's that's something. Uh, this thing does seem to be super invested, right? It, it might even be max. I think it has to be max, yeah. Is it modest? I think it might be modest. I think it has to be modest. I think it is. Interesting. That's fun. So, oh no, I was looking at the wrong mod. I apologize. I apologize. Um, it might honestly be Max Special Attack Timid. Yeah, Max Special Attack Timid makes the most sense. And if and if that's the case, uh, we don't really take a hit with Gabite. Which is awkward for us. But I think what we can do... Uh... I think we have to pressure it, right? We have, to t we have to make it go down to toxic, which sucks. But as long as we can force this thing to attack us, then maybe, because we don't take a plus two max special attack timid shadow ball with, with a bite. Which makes what I did earlier a massive misplay. I could have just thrown by, by giving up all that damage onto a bite. There was, and there was honestly no, not even much of a reason to, for me to make that play. Now, the funny thing here, no, that doesn't make sense. I, I do this every time, yeah. He could strength at me, right? For, for more HP. Um, if he strength saps me, no, the play is always to click rest. The play is always to click rest. But yeah, he has to strength at me. That's totally fair. 
He wasn't even in, in a position of sub. I can't even break a sub anymore, which is great. But I can rest to at least ensure take another hit. And he can continually strain sap, but I... I mean, the only thing that I can bank on is having enough turns here, right? It it does look like it, it does look like I, I can out resource him here. It does look like an out I can out resource him, but it's gonna be just barely. We should take one now that we're at full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that rest secures us a win because I, at, at this point he might not even be able to strength sap back enough. He might, actually. I guess that's not true. But yeah, he, he's not gonna try. So, I don't know, may, you could make an argument that that leech seed super duper mattered, but who, who's to say, right? It's it's tough to tell. Uh, it's tough to tell, I don't know. I think ultimately, yeah, this is what the Govite was designed to do. It just sucks because I let, I let it get so damaged. And now, I, and now we just try to give the final KO of the season to Kingler here. We just try to give the final KO of the season to Kingler here. And I believe... If this thing is just max HP with no Eevee Light... Uh, yeah, yeah, Liquidation should always KO. If it's, if it's max defensive, then we have to take a Moon Blast, but we should take a Moon Blast. I'd be surprised if we don't. Yeah, okay. There's the final KO for Kingler. That's going to be a season. Um, Very well played by Josh. I, I'm positive that he was probably frustrated by that. By that uh, missed Leech Seed. But guess realistically, all, all it does for him is get him one Leech Seed tick onto Drift Bloom. But everything else, I think, plays out the same, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to say. Either way, it was a really, really fun game. It was a really kind of stressful technical game it was it was a strong positioning game but it was it was just a fun one right uh thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back really really soon with ubl playoffs which i believe there's no way to uh deny me a spot after these last couple wins and uh that'll be coming up soon it'll be upba stuff as well and once again with that thank you guys so much for watching and i bounce again out